Local news for Monday the 11th of May. Pukaha has successfully secured funding from the government's Provincial Growth Fund. The $2.5 million government funding means that work can start on the $4.5 million project, the largest ever development at, a national, at the National Wildlife Centre. It will involve the construction of a 40-bed accommodation and education and vocational centre, a nocturnal boardwalk, a carving fuddy and up to 10 motorhome sites. Clarification on what New Zealanders can and can't do in Alert Level 2 has received a positive step forward by the businesses in the Wellington region most impacted by the COVID crisis. Wellington NZ Destination General Manager David Perks says the vibrancy of our communities from Wellington City to Masterton and Ōtaki is underpinned by locals and visitors enjoying the people and rich experiences the region have to offer. And waiving late penalty payments where arrangements have been made is one of the measures put in place by the Carnarton District Council. Carnarton's long-term plan sets out a rate increase of 2% for the 2020-21 annual plan and they anticipate uh, a plan uh, as close to that number as possible. Kia ora. For local news and, and uh, information, I'm Brink here.